Hi and welcome to this uh, tutorial about how to produce uh, these 3D images. So if you have a website that you need sort of uh, promotional material for your book um, in this 3D or isometric view, uh, then this is the tutorial for you. Um, it's really, really quick to produce incredibly high quality professional um, images. In fact a lot of these websites um, you think that they're photographs of the books but they're actually not. Uh, they are just they've been done by this process that I'm about to show you now. Anyway it's really quick to do in fact it's taken me longer to introduce it than it will be to actually show you how to do it. Um, so you need a couple of things you'll need your uh, book art so you'll need your cover art and the artwork for the spine of your book um, and you'll also need um, Adobe Photoshop shop. Um, right, so just whiz over to um, psdcovers.com um, and have a scan through their library of sort of place held um, images so you can basically put your artwork onto all sorts of things from um, cans of paint to um, sort of disinfectant bottles and book covers and all sorts. Have a, a look through it, it's well worth it, um, it's an amazing resource and it's free as well, uh, which is always good news. So uh, under PSD, <coughs> excuse me, under PSD covers, go to search and put in hard covers. There we go, and it will come back with a list of the different types of, um, of sort of representations of those covers um, that uh, that you can use in slightly different angles. So maybe um, a little bit uh, just off to one side there, and a bit more uh, a sort of isometric um, as an image. And then the other side here, you've got the spine now in show as opposed to just the leaves. So there's loads of stuff to choose from depending on what look you're after. Um, go to download and read. Information in here about the graphics itself that they've um, produced, the dimensions, etc. Um, and just do download action. As you can see there, the downloads wizard off to uh, my downloads folder. I'm on a Mac, by the way. Um, and then it comes up with this quick credit, so you can promote it. Uh, sorry, you can promote PSD through your. Um, uh, social media as a bit of a thank you and quite honestly they uh, deserve it because um, these will change I guarantee once you start using some of these you'll wonder what you did without them but anyway that's enough backslapping for PSD because um, they aren't paying me for this um, tutorial so we'll just close out of that and go oops whiz off to um, uh, your Photoshop um, okay, so with Photoshop loaded, I know you can't see this because I've gone off screen, go to actions, so view the actual uh, actions, there we go, bring them into view and you come up with this window in here. Um, if you've not loaded any before, which I suspect not because you're watching this tutorial, go to load and then load actions there. Um, it'll take you through to your explorer or your um, uh, file maker, you know, file manager and just pick the um, the, the sort of downloaded um, action that you've just got off the PSD website. Um, and that's it. I won't go through all that step so you know how to do it. It'll then come into here as a loaded action in two steps. So it says PSD cover hard and as you stretch that out, it will cover more. There you go. Hard covers. Just go to step one and then with a little play button, press play. Leave that for a few seconds. Do, 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 do. Nearly done. It's just doing its uh, thing. There we are. Um, and it comes up with these three um, placeholders. The inside sleeve, the main cover, the sort of front cover, and then spine over there. Um, so the next thing to do is load the uh, artwork that we're going to use. In this case, front cover. And as you drag and scale, it clicks to whichever surface uh, is the sort of control point. So whichever is the edge, it snaps to it. So it's really easy to use. Um, and then just uh, accept that as a place. Um, the next one is the um, spine art. So we'll bring in the spine art and do the same exercise that we've just done um, with what will be appearing what will appear rather on the spine there we go has that snapped too far I think it has yeah there we are 
Um, it doesn't quite match on the edge here. It's not perfect, but don't worry because this is just an example. You can play around um, to your heart's content with your own. Um, I'll just accept that. Um, you can put an inside sleeve uh, bit of artwork as well, but I'm not going to uh, do that in this example um, just for time. Go to step two and press play and then just uh, leave it. So this is uh, where the action actually just follows through the uh, the sort of uh, script, if you like, to take your artwork and manipulate it um, and create it into a 3D uh, book. Do, 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 do. Here we are, transform. It's sort of doing all this whizzing around in the background um, and doing all the hard work for you. And I think it's just about to appear. I need a drum roll. And there we go. Um, that is stunning. I think so anyway. I think that is an absolutely um, just a brilliant um, graphical image. Um, just from a flat JPEG, well two flat JPEGs, it's created what effectively looks like um, a proper book on a table. It's just uh, stunning. Um, what you can do there if you want is also turn off the background um, and you can crop, obviously, and you can save this as a JPEG or a PNG, which you can then use on your website um, or in any promotional um, literature. Um, it's a great um, little product from, um, uh, from uh, PSD. Um, so go check it out. PSDcovers.com. Uh, Actions loaded in Photoshop. Um, a, a cover from... A 3D cover uh, from sort of nothing to, you know, from just two images to a 3D cover in what, you know, a matter of minutes. Brilliant. Um, thank you for watching. Have a play. Um, and um, please click on the all the usual stuff, the likes and favourites, whatever it is. And um, I hope to see you again in another tutorial.